Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to build strong programming logic. So I have seen a lot of videos on YouTube about this topic and some of them are bad, some of them are good, but most of them are like average advice, like learn DSA, learn a language, etc, etc. But what I'm going to tell you is how to actually improve your programming logic so that you become a better programmer, so that you become a better problem solver and so that it will be beneficial for your journey as a programmer. So I'll give you some tips and if you follow these tips then you'll definitely see an improvement in your skills immediately. So let's start with tip number one, that is visualize. So in the world of programming everything happens through code and the only thing you see is input, output and the code itself. But I want you to visualize whatever you're doing in the world of programming. For example, if you're learning an algorithm, if you're learning a concept, if you're learning a data structure, I want you to visualize what is happening through that code. For example, if you're learning graph algorithms and you're learning depth first search, DFS, then I want you to actually visualize how it's happening. So take a pen and paper, make nodes, and then actually visualize how DFS is happening. So it's coming at this node, it's coming at this node. I want you to be able to see what the code is doing. So take a pen and paper and whatever you're learning, visualize it. Be able to see it in your mind how it is happening. Again, like for example, if you're learning linked list, then I want you to be able to visualize what is happening in the linked list. For example, if you're, if you're learning deletion in a linked list, then make a linked list in a piece of paper with a pen and then actually visualize, see how the node is being destroyed, see how the connection is being cut, see how the new connection is being made. So visualize everything that you're learning. And a great tool for that is visualizer tools which are online. So you can just Google search DSA visualizer and you'll find a lot of tools that will help you visualize the algorithms that you're learning, the data structure that you're learning. So it will help you visualize things and that will make sure that you're very good at the basics that you're very good at the foundation of your programming so that you don't have to come back to your basics again and again. So this will make you have a very strong base in your basics. Now, tip number two is master the programming language. Okay, so I'm not telling you to learn a programming language, I'm telling you to master it. Whatever language it is, Java, C++, Python, whatever language you're learning, I want you to master it. So whatever programming language you chose, whether it was C++, Java, Python, whatever it is, I want you to master the programming language. I want you to be very fluent in your programming language so you can write any code. So you know the language in and out, you're very good with the syntax, you don't make any syntactical mistakes, and you're very good with the library of the programming language. For example, Python has NumPy, Panda, etc. C++ has HTL, Java has collection. So I want you to be very clear with the library of these programming languages. Because these libraries will help you a lot via coding, they'll save you a lot of time, they'll help you optimize your code, and they'll help you achieve a lot in fewer lines of code. So master a programming language, master the in and outs, master the syntax, master the library, everything about a programming language, whatever you're learning, master it to the T down to the details. Okay, it's very essential so that it will even help you when you join a company or when you're doing competitive programming, whatever the case may be, it will help you if you are masterful of your knowledge of a programming language. Okay, number three is dry run your code. So this is something that a lot of people skip up on and this is something that a lot of people don't do anymore. So dry run your code, what does it mean? So whatever code you're learning online, suppose you find a piece of code online and you want to know how it or what it means. So obviously you can run the code, give it input and output will come and you'll have some idea of it. But to clearly understand what the code is doing, to clearly understand what the code means, dry run it. So take a pen, of, take a pen, take a piece of paper, have the code in front of you and take some input on the piece of paper with a pen, take the input and according to the code, make changes to the input. With each line of code, make changes in the paper and see how the code is changing the input into the output. Okay, so always dry run your code. Always, whenever you learn something new, which is a little bit complex, dry run it and you'll understand it absolutely. Okay. So whatever the code is, line by line, dry run it on a piece of paper, see what is happening, take example test case, take example input, and see how the output is coming, see how the code is working, and that will really help you understand any code that you come across, okay? So always make a habit of dry running your code whenever you find a code that is a little bit complex or a little bit difficult to understand, okay? Now, Tip number four is don't look at the solution too early if you're solving a problem. Okay, 
suppose if you're solving a problem whether it's a coding problem on a website like code forces code chef lead code or even if you're in a project and you came across a problem that you need to implement then don't just look at the solution way too quickly give yourself time to think give your mind time to think a lot of times what happens is that people come across a problem suppose on code forces people come across a problem they're not able to solve it and within 5 minutes they go straight to the tutorial they go straight to the solution and what is happening is that you're not letting your mind develop that problem solving ability you're not letting your mind develop that logical thinking that your programming skills need so give yourself some time think about it play around with the logic and try to find a solution yourself if you feel like you've actually done everything and still you're not able to solve then go to the solution you should go to the solution there's nothing wrong in that but don't make it a habit of going to the solution too quickly avoid going to the solution the known solution too quickly give yourself some time to come up with a solution because if you come up with a solution yourself then that will help you become more skilled than if you learn the solution from someone else okay so give yourself some time to think give yourself some time to develop an intuition for the problem obviously if all else fails you have the tutorial you have the solution that's not an issue okay the last tip tip number 5 is learn through the code of others okay so this is something that i used to do when i was doing computer programming when i was doing problem solving so whenever there was a problem i would solve it myself first and then i would see how others had solved the same problem okay so i would go to the top rated coders and i would see how they had solved the same problem in their code and what would happen sometimes is that i would have like 50 60 lines of code and some top rated coder would have done that in 5 lines of code or i would have done a 100 line code and someone else would have done it in 10 lines of code so that made me realize that there are other approaches that are better than mine that are more optimized than mine more optimized than mine and that made me learn other approaches as well okay for example if you're on lead code then in lead code there's a discuss forum okay so if you're doing problem solving on lead code there's a discuss forum so first obviously try to solve the problem yourself if you're able to solve the problem or if you're not able to solve the problem you can go to the discussion forum and there are a lot of people give their approach okay like they give their approach like zero ms the fastest solution the most space optimized solution etc etc a lot of people are, like advertise their solution even so go on to discuss forum the discuss forum see a few solutions see which one is optimized see which one is time optimized see which one is which one is space optimized and that will help you learn new approaches that will help you learn how to optimize your code code in terms of space complexity that will help you optimize your code in terms of time complexity and that will really help you being a better programmer not just in problem solving but in development in anything that you do related to programming okay so these were the five tips that i wanted to give you for programming now i'll give you two bonus tips okay these two things if you do it will really help you they're not mandatory but if you do them it will really help improve your skills Number one is computer programming. So this is a little bit cliche, and almost everyone else has talked about this. So it's a little bit cliche, but do computer programming. Even if you don't get a high rating, even if you don't become, even if you don't have a lot of achievements in computer programming, still do computer programming, and that will mold your mind into a problem solving mode. Okay, so try your hand in computer programming. If you get good, okay, but at least try your hand in computer programming. Now number 2 bonus tip is have a personal project okay so i want you to make a personal project whether it's related to web development android development machine learning data science whatever it is you're interested in make a personal project okay so what you can do is you can pick a problem from your surroundings like if you see a problem that you can implement via programming good otherwise you can find a lot of uh, stuff online like lot of ideas online but try to make a personal project So when you make a project from scratch not only you learn a lot of things but you also find solution to a lot of problems either in implementation in UI in back end whatever it is and that again makes your mind go in grind mode in problem solving mode so the last bonus tips were try your hand in computer programming and absolutely have a personal project that you're working on okay not only this will help you in becoming a better programmer but this is something that you can even add to your resume and that will help you in your placements as well So that's pretty much it that for those are all the tips that I had if I get more then I'll absolutely share them with you also I'm planning to make more videos about data structures and algorithm problem solving placement preparation interview preparation etc 
So if you are interested in all that, then please subscribe. It really helps me out. And I promise you quality content is more to come. So that's all. If there's anything you want to share in the comments, if you want to talk to me, just put it in the comment. I'll be sure to answer. Thank you.